Ten thousand dollars. You know anyone who could collect it? You? <laughs> kind of cheap for old Charlie, Not ain't worth it? Worth the effort, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskies, best in the house. Now, right, God, understand? Mm -hmm. Let's leave the bottle. We'll pour our own. What did he say? Did he say whiskey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whiskey, yeah. Thanks, partner. Don't mind if I do. One Get more. lost, old sponge. Sam, quit bothering these strangers. Will you be wanting a room, gents? No, we're just riding through. Stick around. Going to be a big shindig. Cattle sales are on. From the sound of that bunch in there, it's beginning already. <laughs> nah, that there's sort of a private shindig. You see, our sheriff's just getting hitched, and this is sort of a farewell party. Hmm, so he's gonna settle down and raise a few young'uns. He's getting himself a good start. He's marrying a widow with a little boy. She asked him to hang up his guns and give up sheriff and to be a farmer. Dick, that's very interesting, ain't it? Him quitting like that. Mm -hmm. Mighty sweet of him. Uh, when did you say they were going? Tomorrow. They're taking the stage to Hayes City. You miserable old drunk. You want a drink, do you? What's the idea? It just don't seem right, you shoving around an old gaffer his age. I was just trying to teach the old soak a lesson. You staying here? No, just passing through, that's all. We raised ourselves a thirst on the trail and stopped over a drink. No law against that, is there? They've had them? Yeah, they've had them. So long, Sheriff. Hey, hold on there. You still owe $20. For what? Four bits worth of that red paint? And for the rest of that bottle you threw. Nice fellow. Jim, yeah. are you all right? Uh huh? Oh. <laughs> Mary scares a mighty easy, doesn't she, Jim? <laughs> Hey, Jack, old pal, give me a whiskey. Well, from now on, it's going to be up to you to keep the peace, Jim. Well, Bill, I'll sure do my best. Mm. I know you will. Well, my bride's waiting for me. So long. So long. Goodbye, Bill, and tell Nora goodbye. Mm hmm Yep. sure going to be different here without him. That don't say much for me. Jimmy, I really wasn't thinking about that at all, honestly. You weren't? I'm sure that you're going to be the best and the handsomest lawman that this town ever had. How about a kiss, Mr. Sheriff?
¿Qué pasó? It's all right, Pablo. It's nothing to get excited about. John got greedy. He thought he could get away with our gold. Well, he thought wrong. <laughs> you got to get up pretty early in the morning and put one over on Colorado Charlie. Hey, throw some wood on the fire. It's cold. <sighs> Well, it's about time you two got back here. Pete, John had a little accident. Bring me that sack of gold off his saddle. <laughs> I like to have it near me. Well, what's the news? It's true, Charlie. Wild Bill's leaving town. Yeah? <laughs> That's good, eh? Could have been trouble. Trouble? What's the matter? You believe all the stories you hear about this wild Bill? You scared, maybe? <laughs> no. Was scared? What happened? We had a little run-in with him in town yesterday. He ain't no one to fool around with. Hmm. What are you, bandits or storekeepers? Someday I'm gonna kill that wild Bill myself. I'm plenty tired hearing how fast and dangerous he is. I'm quick and dangerous too. Still, it's a good thing that he's gone. We have work to do and he might interfere. Now mount up, we ride. <laughs> themselves outlaws. Caballero. Now stick up your hands. Okay, I'll let it on. Go on, Pablo. Get busy, Pete. Oh. Senorita. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give your <mouth>. Come here, but I said you kiss this Get out of here. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, amigo, but we got big expenses. What you got there? Bible, maybe? You can say your prayers now, huh? Ain't worth dying for, mister, is it? Ah, uh, guapa. 
Holy man. Listen, muchachita. I'm going to make you a queen, a queen from here to Mexico. <laughs> Unless there's someone who also would like to die like this one here did. No stupid tricks, or else Charlie gets angry again. Huh? <laughs> Me a look. Some other time, maybe, eh? Hey, you, stand where I can see you. Get back from the door. Real good luck, and then I'll let you hear it. Hey, you bastard. That's a new sheriff. He's trying to be a hero. He wants to make a name for himself. First day on the job, see? <laughs> Get down. Issue's good. trying your guns? Not now. It's way past your bedtime. Oh, please. Just once. Okay. But right after that, you turn in. Uh-huh. There. How's it feel, Tim? It's too big. I can't hold it. I'll hold it for you. Oh, Here you are. Let me go to the mirror. I want to see how I look. When I grow up, I want to be the best gunfighter in the whole West like you. Uh, reach! Uh. Bill, please, for heaven's sakes. And you, young man, get right into bed. Ah, uh, that won't do you. Get can good. I? But, Mom... No buts. Go on. Golly, can't I just stay up a little now? now? Good night, Tim. Good night, Mom. Night, Bill. I don't seem to understand how I felt when I saw Timmy there with your pistol in his hand. I don't want to see him grow up into a wild, reckless gunfighter like his father was, Bill. I couldn't stand it. Tim's a fine boy, Nora. and He'll be a fine man. But let's not talk about that now, honey. <sighs> Nora. Nora, listen. Don't be like that, honey. This is our wedding night. There's a telegram for you, sir. Sorry to disturb you, but it was marked urgent. Bill, what is it? It's Jim. He's been killed. But who would do a thing like that? I don't know. Get everything ready for me, will you? Yes, sir. Right away. Thanks. 
No, Bill. You mustn't. You can't. I can't. Bill, enough. you're not the sheriff anymore. Please don't go. Please. No. Jim is like a brother to me. I must go, Nora. The same thing again. A violence and hate, the only signs of manhood. If once you had to give up your killing and shooting, it would frighten you. Nora, listen to me and try to understand. I must go, Nora. I must. Don't you see? No, I only see that you're like the others. Much worse than the others. You gave me your word you were going to give up this shooting and killing. I'm sorry, Nora. But there are some things a man's obliged to do. If that's more important to you than keeping your word, then go ahead. I'll get back as quick as I can. I'm not going to wait. Tim and I'll go to my father's. I'm leaving in the morning. Listen, this bullet, it must come out. It's gonna hurt plenty, but if we leave it in, it can kill you. Understand? Give me the water. Mm. <coughs> oh. Madre de Dios, listen. Let me help my amigo. Hold him down, you two. Here. You ready? You know how much we got, Dick? Almost $85,000. We got all the money from the cattle buyers and more. some gunpowder. Come on, quick. He's bleeding bad. Hey, uh... ah! Easy, Dick, easy. I had to do it. You'll be all right now. You'll see. Easy. Just take it easy. That's it. Lord, have mercy on the soul of our departed brother, James Stimson. Do you want to keep this, Mary? Jim would have wanted you to have this, Bill. Here. All right, Mary. I'll carry it until I've avenged Jim. How? Bill, they're a day and a half ahead of you. You can't hope to catch them. Didn't you say one of them was wounded? That ought to slow them down. Good luck, Bill. Thanks. Okay, mount up. Have you got any family in Hayes City? Mm, my dad. Mm. His place is only a mile or so outside of town. Mm. And Bill's gonna settle down and be a farmer. Yes. Excuse me, honey, but I just can't see your husband punching cattle for a living or toiling on a wheat crop. And let's just pray he don't bump into no desperados like this Colorado Charlie. Know what they say? His aim is perfect. Thank you. 
speed. Get water. Pablo, hurry up. Get him down. He'll be all right, Charlie. He's just weak, that's all. How you feel, eh? A lot better. Let's go ahead. Oh, you stay put. You've done enough riding for today. We can make camp right here. Seems to be a pretty good spot. Good cover. Okay, pass the word. Easy, muchacho. Alkali water, no good. Horses can't go much further without water. Neither can we. There's still two hours to sunset. Let's go. Mount up. Still bleeding bad. He's very weak. We can't go on with him in this condition. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. You know to leave you is to betray your father, who was my best friend, my compadre. In the morning, amigo, we go find you a doctor to fix you up right. And a bed someplace where you can get a good rest. I don't think the men will like the idea of waiting much. I'm not asking them to vote on it. As long as we're on this side of the border, it's very dangerous. Get out of here before it's too late, Charlie. I'll be... That's enough. Now everybody shut up. And listen. We split up. You take the men to Sonora. And me and Dick, we'll join you as soon as he gets well enough to move. I'll go with you. No, you're the only one who's strong enough to keep the men together. You'll have to take them to Mexico, Pete. I'll take Pablo. And maybe one or two others. <laughs> Let's call it quits. It's no use going on. We'll never catch it. Yeah, that makes it go by now. That's for sure. Going back if you like. I'm going on. Bill, that's plum loco. Took you so long. Give it here. What are you staring at me like that for?
party, ma'am. Good day. Could I speak to your husband? He's not here. He'll be gone all day. I'm kind of tired. Would you mind giving me some coffee? I'm sorry, but there isn't any. Oh, that's that is, too bad. Look out! Oh. Hold it. Trouble, maybe? You sounded like they came from the house. I think you're right. We better go look. Doctor, you follow us. House! Ah! Okay, that one there. Where are the others? They went to bring the doctor. Come on, let's get out of here. No, where are you taking Some me? Some place where you'll be safe. Come on. Wait. <gasps> to the woods, hurry. to die. It's just too bad we couldn't make it a real fight, Wild Bill, isn't it?
on your feet, I said. All right, now you've had your fight, now reach. Higher. Come here. You shoot me now? No, I'm saving you for the gallows where you belong. Get moving. I can understand you. Your husband's out there somewhere risking his neck. You ain't a bit concerned. Papa, leave me alone. Tim? In a minute, Grandpa. Come on, you've been out here long enough for one oh. day. Come on. Wild Bill, hmm. the great gunfighter, the noble sheriff who shoots down a wounded man who can't defend himself. Your man had a gun and he shot at me first. I always knew we'd meet someday, but I thought it'd be face to face in a shootout. The two fastest guns in the territory, a fight to make history, a fight they would sing about. Well, another time, maybe. Unless you want to take this off and give me another chance right now. <laughs> there won't be another time. Ah, the noose ain't around my neck yet. No, <laughs> but you'll be brought to justice. Yeah. <laughs> there ain't no justice in this world, Sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, justice? We both kill men. You, they reward, and me, they want to hang. That's the only difference. There's one more difference, the kind of people we kill. Like that wounded boy today, you mean? And how come you haven't killed me yet, Bill? Because <laughs> you're unarmed. <laughs> So I'll let the executioner do the job. That boy, Dick. The one you killed today, Wild Bill. He was close to me like my own son. And I'm going to kill you. Yeah, if you ever got loose again, I imagine you would. But you'll have to shoot me in the back. It's the only way you'll do it. No, I want to see your expression when that bullet hits. Here, go to sleep and dream about it. It'll be the best dream I've had for a long time. I'd like for you to meet an acquaintance of mine. Here. You'll have a fair trial before you hang. Oh, I believe you. Take him away. Get down. Come here, son. Yeah, he don't look so tough. Who would have a wild goo gun with him? Come on. Put him away. Jim's killer's dead. So's Jim. Mary, listen, you ought to get away from here. Why don't you visit us for a while? Good. Help Mary get packed, will you, Nellie? Judge, you know what? I'm going to let you buy me a beer. I think I deserve it, don't you? Yes, bring it up. He's going to have a prize. He's guilty, ain't he? We got a brand new rope for you, Charlie. Why, you little mosquito, the rope ain't been made yet that can hang me. Nobody's going to hang Colorado Charlie. Now go home to your mama before you get hurt. <laughs> I'm not going to hang. Yeah, that's what you think. I'm not going to hang. Oh. Come on, clear out. It's all over. Now, well, that was just what I needed. Did you get you another one, Sheriff? <laughs> no, thanks. Well, tell us what happened. There's not much to tell, really. I arrested him. And I got back this. 
He didn't have time to spend any. <gasps> and he didn't spatch. Look at all that money. We'd hoped you'd keep it on. Please, Bill, won't you reconsider? Uh -uh. Bill, we need you here. Springfield won't be the same without you. I'm grateful for the compliment, Judge, but my wife's waiting for me in Hay City. It's too bad Nora feels the way she does, because Bill's about the best lawman in the West. Fine, sound three-year-old, Steve. Good thoroughbred stock, too. Closer to six. His grandfather may have been a thoroughbred. Are you trying to suggest I'm cheating? Go ahead, say it. Why don't you? No, but it wouldn't be horse trading without a little exaggeration, would it? I like the horse, Tom. But you want too much for him. I'll take ten less. Do we trade? Twenty less. Mm. No, nothing doing. Uh -huh. I'm sorry we couldn't get together on it, Tom. Some other time, huh? Hey, Steve, wait. At that price, I'm practically giving him away, Steve. But for you, I'll try. Hey, Tom. Bill! Doggone, it's about time you got here. Right, <laughs> How are you, lad? Great, never better. Uh, you remember Mary? Sure thing. Good to see you. You got Colorado Tully. Yeah, Tom, I got him. Nobody else could have done it. <laughs> yes. Just wait till Hay City hears about Colorado Charlie being captured. Even when I tell them, they won't believe it. Oh, Bill. Steve White, our sheriff. And this here is... Everyone knows who Wild Bill is. It sure is a real pleasure. Nice to have met you all. So, so long. Uh... Like some more, darling? Uh-uh. No, thanks. I was you came. Mm. Bill! Hey, Tim! <laughs> It's Bill, Mom, and Mary's with him. Nora. Mary? Boy, I'm sure glad you got here, Bill. The mare just pulled, and the, the chickens have been... Later, Tim, huh? Okay. Okay. Tim, help me get Mary's things in. Come on. I'll go make some coffee. Let's talk. Talk? About what? I thought everything was said on our wedding night. I thank God that you're all right. You mean you still feel that way, Nora? I'm sorry, Bill. I love you, but I can't stand it. It's been a nightmare for me. I've been frightened to death every second you were gone. But it won't happen again. What won't happen again? It's not me who's important. It's Timmy that counts. He's full of ideas already about gunfighting and killing, and I won't have him growing up in an atmosphere of violence. Do you understand now? But I'm not like that. No, Bill. You're just the same as the others, don't you see? You're not a murderer. You kill men legally. But still you kill. You knew that before we got married. And you promised you'd quit, didn't you? My friend was murdered and I had to avenge him. I'm not apologizing for the kind of man that I am. Bill? Yeah, I'll be around. Hey, why don't you look where you're going? You want to do anything about it? Hi, George. Hi, Kitty. How you doing? Okay, I guess. Good. Hey, look who's here. Hey, George! Come on, over here. <laughs> Wait till he hears. Yeah. What is it? A lot of excitement. Yeah. You know who's in town? Wild Bill. Yeah, and you know what Steve was telling us? That he ran off the whole gang and captured Colorado Charlie, all by himself. Yeah. Quite a man. Wild Bill, huh? Yeah, seems I heard of him. He's supposed to be a pretty good man. Will you listen to him? Supposed he's got to a be a draw like good lightning. Man. You sound like a bunch of schoolgirls, so he's got a reputation. A good fighter gets himself a name and everyone's afraid of him. He's a man, though, just like everybody else. And one day he'll come up against somebody better. Who? 
Somebody like yourself, for instance? Oh. I sure don't mean you, cowboy. Come on, let's go, Chuck. He sure worked up, ain't he? Yeah, he's a real hothead. Like that wild bill. Now there's someone that you can really look yeah, up sure. to. You know what I mean? Mm. Steve, before I go, what do you say to a drink? <laughs> I say yes. Yeah. He's right, you know. Yeah. Takes real guts to do a thing like that. Uh -huh. Whiskey, please. Same here, Jack. <laughs> well, Major, here's mud in your eye. Mm -hmm. Let's drink to Wild Bill, all right? Sure thing. I'll drink to that. Why don't you build a monument to him? There's those who've done less who've gotten them, George. Mm. Another whiskey. This wild Billy yours. I suppose he killed all the rest of them bandits all by himself. No, I'm afraid not. Most of them escaped. Wild Bill, welcome to Hay City. We've been talking about you. How about a drink? Thanks. Whiskey, please. Whiskey, Jack. Here you are, ready and waiting. Hold on there. That's my drink. George. It's all right, Sheriff. It's not really that important, is it? I mean, as long as he pours another one for me. <laughs> hey, look at me when I talk to you. You always crawfish like that. It's your whiskey. Well, I suppose I drink mine and you drink yours. And suppose I tell you to apologize for trying to steal my drink. What are you trying to do, George? Go on home. Stay out of there, Sheriff. He's the one who started it. You got no right to interfere. You better do as the Sheriff says. You better get out. Get yourself a little air. You learn your lesson, George. Now go on home. Thank you, Bill, for not killing him. I never saw such a fast draw. And to think I only came in for a quiet drink and a friendly game. I'm with you. Who's for poker? John and me will join you. Can't be here. Let's go. George! Mary, come and play with me. Later, Come Tim. now, please. Stop bothering Mary, Timmy, and go and look for eggs or something. Okay, please. Mother, I'll fetch the eggs. And don't let the dog in the hen house. Don't worry, I won't. <sighs> Nora, what's wrong? Oh, Mary, I'm just upset about everything, I guess. I'm beginning to think that getting married again was a serious mistake, Mary. A young woman with a boy Timmy's age to bring up shouldn't be alone. Bill is the right man for you and for Timmy, but you mustn't change him. Take him for what he is. Of course, you know what it means, don't you? The pain, the feeling of emptiness. No, I couldn't stand it. The same thing happening to Bill. Our country is young and primitive, so everything is raw and hard cruel. It's rough on us, but that's how it is. I guess someday people will be gentle with each other. And no one will wear a gun belt anymore. But not now and not here. The men have to protect us. It happens sometimes that a man must kill or be killed. So I'd go and get him right now if I were you, Nora. Yes, you're right. Thank you, Mary. Cards? I'll take uh, two of them. Here you are. Three, Sheriff? Give me three. Bill? I'll play these. With your luck, you can afford yeah, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, 
They say he's honest not only because he is, but because I'm afraid to say he's not. <laughs> Tom here is dead. Yeah, so is George. Bill, darling, take me out of here, please. Of course, honey. Poor Tom didn't know what hit him. <laughs> Bill, Dad once told me about this little town he went through. In the mountains somewhere in New Mexico where nobody was allowed to wear a gun. Oh, please, Bill, can we go there? A place like that would be perfect, except that my name is Wild Bill. But before long, somebody will challenge me like they did today, because I am who I am. Yes, your name gives you away. So what if you were to change it? Then we might stand a chance. I'm willing to try it. Oh, Bill, you don't know what this means to me. <clears throat> no llega quien me dijo volveré las tres el viento se levanta y yo quedo aquí aquí con mi dolor o oh, por qué dime por qué no vuelves, no vuelves a mí Brilla el sol, la tierra quema Más es tan frío mi corazón Where's Doris? Uh, what would you like, señor? Bring us some more wine How about something to eat, señor? No, just bring us the wine Sí, señor Pablacita, how are you? Anda, anda. <sighs> There's bad news, amigos. Mm, bad news? Did Colorado happen, Pablo? Is he dead? Hanged, huh? No, not yet. These gringos, they must have a trial. There cannot be much time. How about another one, Sheriff? No more tonight. Oh, the train whistle's getting on my nerves. This here's one of those bad nights that never ends. Hey, Charlie, wake up in there. Que pasa, hombre? Time for the party to start already? No, but it won't be too long now, Charlie. You know, I just wanted to check the state of your health. Ha! <laughs> Of my health? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to be hanged in a couple of hours. And when they cut me down, I'll still be healthier than you are. <laughs> hey, Sheriff, open up! Open up! What's the matter out there? Open up! What's up? Why are you yelling like that? Huh. I'll tell you why. Because the girls are burning. What? How'd that happen? I don't know. You better come look for yourself. Well, we gotta put it out. Hey, boys! Out here! What is over? Wait, come on! Let's come up! What is this? What's up? Ah! 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 All right, that does it. Let's go get the horses. Pablo! Charlie, are you all right? See, si, see, si, but get me out of here. The keys! Hurry up! Hurry! <laughs> hurry! <laughs> I think this time I'm dead for sure. <laughs> you said it. Here. <laughs> 
Here they are. <laughs> hey, Charlie. Have a good rest. Gracias, amigos. For a while, I thought I would not see any of you again this side of the eternal fires. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, we better make tracks out of here fast. Si, vamos, muchachos. Let's go this way, Charlie. We can pick up fresh horses at the Franklin Ranch. No, we go this way. First, I got a very important score to settle with someone. Vamos! Just a minute. I'm coming. You're Senor Tomas? Yes, that's right. What do you want? Outside! Come on! Come here, old man. What do you, you want with me? Save your breath for answering questions, not asking them. Catch, Ralph! <laughs> I don't want him. Here, Pablo. Get him. Hey, I got him. <laughs> Let me go. Here, go. Take him again. Let go. Here. Let go of me. You pay for this. Let go. What are you yelling about, huh? Not go. Wrong, amigos. <laughs> hmm. Table is only set for one. yourself to some wine. Makes my feet swell up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. It's beach dancing, don't it? Here, Pablo! Over here! Over here! Well, Bill, have you lost your tongue, old man? <clears throat> Where is he? He's gone with Tim and Nora a couple of weeks ago. Where'd they go? I don't know. I know that they left Springfield and gave up his job as a sheriff. But I don't know where he is now. You won't oh, tell me. You're going to kill him. Yeah. I don't know anything. Go to the jail. Vamos, muchachos. Sí, vámonos. <laughs> Old man, you got plenty of guards. Vamos. <laughs> See you a minute. Sure thing. How are you, Sheriff? Fine, thanks. There was uh, something that I wanted to ask you, Mr. Bauer. Call me Bill, please. Okay then, Bill. Harvey, the man who owned the, the Emporium before you, was uh, a member of the town council. Now, maybe I'm not putting this too well, but the truth is, we like your style and we'd like you to be with us in the council. I'll be glad to help out if I can. What do I do? Oh, I don't know. Help us make decisions and plans and things. Like right now, we're busy getting the fair ready. Shucks, I reckon I can handle that all right. Thanks. Thank you. Now, I'd say this calls for a little celebration. Thanks, but my wife is waiting for us some other time. Fine, Bill, sure. 
Right, Bill? I'm old enough to go to the fair alone. Oh, uh, we'll see, Tim. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Poor Dad. Nora, what's happened? Read that. Go ahead. Bill. Bill. Bill? Did you know there's going to be a fair, Mom? Will you let me go, huh? We'll see, darling. But why don't you go out and play now? Nora, what's wrong? Mary, take him outside, will you please? Uh... Go with Mary. Bill? Well? Colorado Charlie. He broke jail. How do you know? My father told me in his letter. Read it. Come. They beat him terribly to make him talk, but he didn't tell where we were. Oh, Bill, I'm scared. Terribly scared. Scared, Nora? But of what? The only person who knows about us is your father. If he's gonna come, let him. This time I'll finish the job myself. No, Bill. You mustn't, don't you see? That's what I don't want. Wait here. Hello, anybody in? Hello there, Mrs. Andrews. Why, thanks, Mr. Bauer. <sighs> Water, Charlie? Go ahead. Nah. Listen, Charlie. The men are beginning to grumble about this chase of yours. They want some action. They want some loot. Hmm. I know, but where could that skinny gringo be hiding? Well, Bill, listen, Charlie, why don't we just forget about you him? You listen. He killed Dick. He must be punished. I do not understand how he has vanished like this. A man who is so well known. He'll show up sooner or later. But, Charlie, we're bandits, not a posse. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you convinced me, Pete. <laughs> Go and tell the man that we're in the bandit business again. <laughs> now you're talking, Charlie. That's more like it. Okay, boys. We're going back to work. Vacation's over. All right, muchachos. Power! Hey, 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 hey. Howdy, amigo. Say, what's going on around Our here? A county harvest celebration. How come you haven't heard of it? I thought that everybody around here knew about it by now. Easy, because I'm not from around here. <laughs> <laughs> Have you read the notice? If you're carrying a weapon, you got to leave it at the sheriff's office. As you can see, amigo, no guns. My religion forbids it. Religion? Well, as long as it ain't one of those, it's again liquor. All right, congratulations are in order. There'll soon be another boy in the house. Hey, Bill, why is he congratulating you? And when is this other boy going to be here? 
Not for a while, Tim. Perhaps in the spring. Why not now? Well, Bill... Uh... No, I'm afraid not, Timmy. The arrangements have already been made, you see. I'd say in about six months, Mr. Dark. <laughs> six months. Thanks very much, Doc. What are you thanking Thanks. me for? I'm just the middleman. <laughs> hey, Hush, Bill. Timmy. He'll explain later. Good day. Nora. Bill. Oh, Bill. So happy, darling. <laughs> you may catch my breath at least, darling. Oh, Bill. <laughs> Let me up, darling, for goodness sake. Well, don't you have to rest? You don't expect me to stay in bed from now till June, do you? <laughs> no, but I just thought... Mm. That... Uh, Mary, bring Timmy in, will you, please? Isn't it ridiculous? I want to go to the fair and Bill insists I stay in bed. Bill's right, Nora. This morning you fainted. Stay home and rest properly. Uh -huh. But I'll miss the fair and the dance. Shucks, Bill, Mom looks all right. Let's go, huh? Bill, take Timmy. Maybe Nora and I will join you there later. Perhaps I shouldn't go. Oh, uh, you're not a nurse, are you? No, I suppose I am useless here, really. Just now, completely. So long, Mom. So long, Timmy. <laughs> Men are sure funny sometimes, aren't they? <laughs> Before I die, oh, how about that for a call? I could just see you. They threw me out of Springfield. The only very first one I see in Little River. Very good name, as far as I'm concerned. Because I want as little water as possible, get it? Hey, pal, don't Say, that's two bits, stranger. Would you like to dance? Thank you. Everybody's having a good time today. Yes, it is. I don't know about letting them shoot in the zone, my Safe friend. enough. Hey, back of that bull. Oh. I'm going to throw up this coin and you try to hit it, okay? Who do you think he is, Peggy Wild Bill? Do you think it's so easy? You do it. Go ahead. Yeah, Joe. I hope that ain't works, Joe Hogan. Howdy, Bill. Mr. Barnes. Howdy, Where's Barnes. the missus? Nora's a little under the weather. Oh, nothing serious, I hope, is Oh, no. She's waiting for a baby. He means the order for the new baby was sent. But we have to wait for six months. <laughs> well, that bit of news sure calls for a celebration. Come out of the bar with us, Bill. Thanks, but things being as they are, we better postpone. Right. I'll take you up on it later. Sure thing. Let me show you, amigo. Practice, that's what counts, you see. You have to point the pistol where you want to shoot. Go ahead. Tito. You're missing. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Not bad, eh? One out of two? One out of one, it'd be better. See, si, I suppose so. Can you do it? Sure, I bet he could hit every single shot. Ah, then he ought to give us a lesson. Amazing, you know, old friend. Uh, Let's go, Tim. Uh, Come on. Or are you afraid, senor? It is a custom in my country to make a man prove what he says. Go ahead. Sure, you can do it. Where are you from? From Mexico. Where else? I knew a Mexican fellow once who was also very handy with a gun. But the funny thing about it is, this man also had to shoot twice before he could hit what he was aiming at. Not the best way to keep alive. Here, it's all yours, amigo. Go ahead and show us. Let me know when you're ready. That was great, Bill. You showed him. Impossible, sir. Here you are, Sheriff. Let's go home, Tim. Has the cat got your tongue, amigo? When you get back to Mexico, you can say that you've seen some real fancy shooting here in Little River. Hey! <laughs> That's enough of this shooting for right now. Go on. That's right. Everybody get inside Everybody and dance. Get inside <laughs> and drink. <laughs>
Hey, Tim, wake up. I'm awake. Go ask your mother to come down, will you? I have to go out. Sure. Thanks. Pablo, that's Wild Bill, no? Ah, uh -huh, you were right, amigo. Only he could have shot like that. The famous Wild Bill. The fastest gun in the territory. Wild Bill, a storekeeper. <laughs> 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 but you can't hide forever from Colorado Charlie, Wild Bill. I knew that we must meet each other again. Go ahead and kill me, Charlie. I'm unarmed. Why waste time talking about it? Let's just... No, stay out of it, Pablo. This is my business. Eh, hey, don't try no funny business, you hear? Because it will spoil all my plans to kill you now. Over there in the corner. Well, what do we do now? I'll tell Bill? you what we're going to do. While you're out, will you get me some eggs and... Bill! Your Colorado Charlie. No, no, dear lady. Don't you, dear lady, me, you bandit, you. How's your father been lately? On our last visit, he looked a little beat up, you might say, huh? <laughs> Dog, she's pregnant. What kind of a man do you think I am? To hurt a woman goes against my nature. Hmm. Unless it proves necessary. What are you going to do? <laughs> I must ask you to get out of here, madame. Hmm? No, I'm not going to move. You'll have to kill me, too. Nora, do as he says. conversation that night, Bill. I told you I was going to kill you with a gun in your hand, face to face. Remember? I'm the better man and I'm going to prove it. Vamos, muchachos. We'll wait for him outside. Nora, where's my pistol? What do you want the pistol for? Nora, what have you done with my gun? I threw it in the river. That morning when I got the letter from my father, I knew you were bound to use it sooner or later. Oh, Nora, what have you done to me? Steer inside, see? Come on. I don't understand you, amigo. Yeah. Why not just kill him? Why all this? I want it like this. <laughs> then nobody will ever be able to say that Colorado Charlie was second best. You see now why I must shoot it out with Wild Bill. Mm. But what if he don't want to shoot it out with you? <laughs> a long time. <laughs> Vamos. I'm giving you till 11, gringo. At one minute after 11 exactly, I'll kill you and everyone in there. If you don't come out and fight or else get out of town, it's up to you. Hold it! Why was that shooting? Who are you? What are you doing here? No reason to get excited, Sheriff. We've been celebrating, you see. We heard an old friend was leaving here, so we just came by to say hello. I did the shooting. I'm completely at your disposition, Sheriff. How is your jail here? You have clean cells? Comfortable cots for prisoners who might want to nap? Ah, 
Come on. You know, Sheriff, I was thinking. <laughs> you should be congratulated. You're only the second one to ever catch Colorado Charlie. You're Colorado Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tremble like that, Sheriff. The gun might go off. <laughs> you might accidentally hurt somebody. We wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Jack, go over to the jailer and collect all the artillery. Then bring it there to the saloon. Don't just stand there, Pete. Give him a hand. Pete was a lawman himself once, you know. A deputy sheriff. Till he got smart and changed jobs. Like your storekeeper friend. I bet you didn't know that, did you, Sheriff? <laughs> Poor Wild Bill. Are you saying a storekeeper's Wild Bill? The nice, quiet storekeeper. Oh, yes. And today is going to be settled. Which one is the better man? Colorado Charlie or your amigo, Wild Bill? <laughs> if that is, he decides to fight. <laughs> Unless I get a gun, I either let him run me out of town or he'll come in and kill all of us. No, Bill, I'm sure he'll spare our lives. You mustn't fight him. No, he won't let me live. No, don't you see? Colorado Charlie wants to prove his superiority. So if you don't fight him, he'll let you live, as long as you leave town. Nora, there's just one way for us to really be safe, and that's for me to fight it out with him face to face. Meanwhile, you and Tim could hide somewhere. If there were only some way I could get a pistol. That stubborn pride. No. You mean you'd risk getting killed and orphaning our son in order to avoid humiliation, is that it? No, but there's not much left when you take a man's dignity. Bill, you're wrong. There are many things more important in our lives than false pride and dignity. What are you doing here, Tim? I thought I asked no. you to stay in your room. Don't feel like it. Charlie. Suppose he does decide to leave. It makes no difference to me. Then everybody will say, while Bill's a coward. And you would let him live? At least till I get out of town. Pete would take care of that job, eh? If he decides <laughs> to fight after all. <laughs> then it's the will of the Holy Virgin, amigo. While Bill is very fast, but I'm also fast, maybe faster. I don't like this with a jewel, you can never be sure. We've had our fun with him, Charlie. Why don't we go over there and kill him or leave them alone? Why do you keep telling me this? Uh, I don't know. But I have this feeling... <laughs> what difference does it make? You! You and me and Wild Bill. There's a name for us. Victims of progress. <laughs> Our day is over. The train. The telegraph. That's progress. <laughs> Come on, Pete, deal the cards. <laughs> okay. I just came from a meeting. I hope you understand. We reached a very difficult decision. I don't know quite how to put this. Go on, Hogan. Bill, we all felt pretty unhappy that you came here under an assumed name. Sheriff Hogan, to me it sounds more like you're speaking to a criminal than to someone whose whole life has been spent in support of the law. Yes, and because of his past, the whole town's threatened by disaster. Yes, I see. I thought perhaps you'd come to help me. But never mind, it doesn't really matter now. Sheriff, can you get me a gun? Hmm. The bandits not only disarmed me, but they took every single gun I had in the office as well. But even if I had a gun, I wouldn't give it to you for fear of starting a massacre. Bill. You're not giving me much choice. I'm very sorry, but surely you could... Very well, Bill. I'm sorry you take that attitude. But what would you do in our position? Yeah. Not what you're doing. Hmm. Must be getting late. Say, it's 10.22 already. You better hurry.
I'm a coward, don't you? Five minutes to eleven already. Now listen, Mary, you might as well stay here. We'll let you know where we are. Well, there's nothing more I need here. Mom? Yes, Timmy. Mom, Bill said to tell you yes, it's sorry. time to go. Thank you, Timmy. God bless you, Nora. Thank you, Mary. Goodbye, Tim, dear. Oh. Bye, Mary. What time is it? A minute before 11. Hmm. Right here. Hmm? Here's your gun. Ha, ha, ha. 